Hey y'all, it's T and welcome back to my channel. So this video will be jam packed with all types of nesting content. So I'll be showing you guys a baby item haul and then I'll also be going in. My husband and I will be finishing up getting items set up for the baby. I'll be packing hospital bags and then I'll also be organizing items in the nursery so if you are nesting or know someone that is nesting go ahead and take us along with you because this is our time to get it all done together all right y'all so i am going to start out by getting some things washed that i need to pack up for the hospital bag and then also prepping to put some things up for baby girl so for me i have the blanket that I'll be taking to the hospital. Um, I bought some pajama sets because I needed some new short sleeve ones. And I got these from Burlington. This one actually comes with the, the top, the bottom, and the shorts. Just in case it's hot or anything, I'm covered. It was $14.99. And I wanted to get the um, ones that open up in the front for feeding purposes to make it easier. And then I have this set, which is another one from Burlington as well. This one was $14.99. And this one is just the, um, the top and the bottom. And then I also got this set right here from, where did I get this one? From Ross. This one was $19.99. And it is short sleeve as well. And they all open up in the front. And this was just the top and the bottom, but it's really, really nice quality. And then I bought some um, ankle socks. And these came from Burlington for $6.99. So I'm going to get all of this stuff washed. All of my other stuff is already washed. But this is everything that I bought new that I need to get completely washed. And then for baby girl, this is kind of similar to like a DACA tot. I had this with, with V. And you can just, we use this in the bed. Or if we were sitting on the couch and we had the baby in it, this was very helpful. And like I said, it's similar to a DACA tot, but for a fraction of the price. And I got this on Facebook Market for like $10. Sanitize it, wash it, and all that before I use it with V. Yeah, and it's very, very nice. So I'm going to take the cover off of this and get it washed. These are the pieces for the bouncer, which is the the um the bumper I call it. And then this is the bottom piece. This is my boppy pillow that I thought that I threw away. V has been using this way past the breastfeeding days. So I'm gonna get this nice and clean. And then this is the car seat cover that I took off and I'm going to wash this as well. So let's go ahead and get started. <music> So now I'm going to share with you guys a huge baby item haul. Um, I had two baby showers this week, one at the school that I work at. And then the other one was given by the fellow nurses in the district that work at other schools. So really good week. They really, really spoiled me this week. And then also I'll be sharing several of the items that came from you guys from the baby registry. So before I get into the baby items, I want to share a small Amazon haul with you guys of items that I purchased myself. So these items are non-baby items. 
but um, I will be using um, at one of these items to organize in the nursery with but these bottle brushes I purchased to clean like our Stanley cups and tumblers and things like that not for the baby but it comes with um, different types of brushes and then for the straws and um, bottle caps and all that all of that but I think I would say that you can use this for um, baby bottles if you would like to but I have a separate one for that and it was a really good deal it was like eight dollars for all of these pieces which which was a really good buy and then here I have um, some old cedar mop heads the refills that I have here and that's what they look like they are vacuum packed and then this is another set. Y'all know that I use the white ones in the bathroom. And then the blue and white ones in every other area of the house. So that's what those look like. And then this is a refill for my scrub brushes that y'all see me use all the time when I clean my tub and shower. And then I ordered these drawer dividers that will help me organize the drawers in the nursery and I have two boxes of those may not use all of them but um, whatever is left over I plan to use in the drawers in the bedrooms and then this is a salad spinner that I've been wanting for quite some time and so I went on and bought this from Amazon as well so if you are interested in these items, I will have them linked down in my Amazon store. All right, so now moving into the baby items. I know you guys enjoyed seeing the baby items in my last video. So I did want to go over everything. I'm going to go as quickly as I can. <laughs> so from um, these came from co-workers at my job. So I have some Aveeno lotion and baby wash. This is a security blanket right here. It's like a unicorn one. These are the um, photo props for the monthly photos. This is an activity doll. So cute. This is a container of Aquaphor. These are teething rings. And then this is a three pack set of gowns. And then here are some rattles. This is a hat and um, mitten set. Here's a onesie, which is really cute. Here's an outfit set that was on my registry. One of my coworkers got me that. These slippers were so cute. Oh my goodness. It's like little bunny slippers, too cute. And then moving on to this basket, which one of my co-workers made. So creative, y'all. And look at the little teddy bear on the swing. So cute. So in this basket was, or is, a sleeper. Here is a head wrap and sock set. Burp cloths. Another security blanket, a seat slip cover, um, the bath sets, which is the towels and the washcloths, and then some little hair bows. And then up top is the teddy bear, some hangers, and then here are some onesies really cute here are more onesies and here are like some um I guess you could call these onesie tops the long sleeve ones more onesies And then there's a baby blanket hanging there. 
which is so cute. All of it is cute. So here is a handprint and footprint set. It's like a keepsake frame set. My coworker also, one of my coworkers also bought me this as well. So moving on to these items right here. So someone gave me a Target gift card. And so I saw these items on sale and I went and used that gift card to get them for a really good price because they were already on my registry, but it was cheaper at Target. So I took that Target gift card to get that or get these items, which is the bottle and dish soap. I picked up five bottles of those. And then if you have not used this um, laundry stain remover, it is really, really good. I had the, I used this when I had V and it does not play with stains so i picked up three of these and then i also picked up this postpartum kit and it was less than twenty dollars which is crazy because this thing is so expensive so i was able to pick those up with from target with that gift card moving on to some of these items here that came from the registry you guys actually um well, my coworker got me this bottle set in these socks, but everything else came from you guys. So I have a bottle warmer, a tummy time mat. These are bibs outfit set. Here's another um, hat and booty set. Uh, hat and hand hat and mitten set. Here's a outfit, and then. Also, this goes on the car seat. It's like a rattle set for the car seat. And then I also have nursing pads, a wipe warmer, a bottle warmer, if I didn't already say that, um, some books. This is the stackable rings, more bottles. This is like a um, fruit feeder. And I think that's it from the registry that's on the table. Yeah, that's everything. A lot of the items from the registry I have already washed and already packed up or put in their place. So once again, if you sent me something from the registry, thank you guys so, so much. I really, really appreciate it. Right here, right here is several cards and gift cards right here. And then from my um, nurse co-workers, they gave me a shower as well, like I already mentioned, and these items came from them. These gift cards and all that is a combination of everybody. All right, so I have this onesie set right here. And then also this personalized blanket, which I will show you guys in a different video. It has her name on it. And then, we have two Nike outfits, just so, so cute. This is like a wind up giraffe, the head moves and it sings and all of that, so cute. And then I also have this outfit right here, these um, burp cloths, and then this little outfit with the little tutu, so cute. And then in this basket, we have this outfit with the headband, the socks, and the onesie. We have this outfit, which was so stinking cute with the little thigh high um, socks, the little booty, I mean the little um bottoms the top and then the headband so cute this one is another outfit with the socks the top the bottom and the headband that's what that one says this is another one it's a four-piece set that has the pants and then the tops. 
And then these are blankets. Have that set. This set. And then some Aveeno lotion. A pack of Pampers diapers. And then three packs of Huggies wipes. And this is like the crate that she put everything in. And then the last and final gift was a diaper cake that one of my um, co-workers made. It was so, so pretty. I don't even want to open it. But it'll be a while before I open it because she said that these are size 3 diapers. And this was the leftover of the diapers that she put in this package over here. But it's so... So cute. And that's what all of that looks like. All right, so once again, thank you to all of my subscribers that sent the baby's gifts, all of my coworkers that watch my videos. Thank you guys once again for surprising me so good on this week. We appreciate everything. All right, y'all, so now we will be moving into the guest bedroom downstairs that me and baby girl will be spending our time at during the day. So you see this vent over the window. Instead of putting the playpen over there, I did not want it there because the window is there and that vent is there as well. So what we're going to do is move the nightstand over to this area, and then my husband is going to set the playpen up here by the bed so i wanted to go ahead and take this time out to introduce myself here for those of you that may be visiting my channel for the very first time so my name is t and the majority of the content that you will see posted on my channel will be extreme cleaning motivation but you'll also see home improvement and diy projects you'll see a little bit of organizing a little bit of cooking home decor hauls, shop with me videos, and any other type of home related content that my husband and I can think of, we will be posting it over here on this channel. So if any of that type of content interests you, go ahead and like this video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on your notification bells so that you'll be notified each and every time I post a brand new video. So obviously you guys can see that I am very pregnant right now. I am actually nine months pregnant. So the videos will be slowing down or stopping <laughs> here shortly, probably here in a few weeks. But of course we will be back as soon as possible. And I probably would still be able to post content, but of course it won't be like any heavy content. I'm sure it'll be something else that I can post if I decide to post, but that is still in the works. And also um, we do have coming up, I think I have a couple pre-recorded videos that I need to edit and get out. And then also the nursery makeover video is coming i promise y'all that we have not forgotten to post it that video will be coming this past weekend we um got all of this nesting stuff done and then we also got the nursery up to about 95 percent done so just a few more items that we are waiting to come in and then the nursery will be complete so before I put on some music for you guys to enjoy, I want to go ahead and give this week's channel shout out. So this week's shout out goes out to Life of Cherry Vlogs. So her channel popped up in my feed a couple weeks ago and I have been watching her videos ever since. So she does cleaning videos and she is also pregnant as well. I believe that we are due probably around about the same time so she i'm i'm sure that she'll have some nesting content coming up as well but she posts weekly vlogs and she does cleaning videos so definitely check her channel out and if you do decide to head over to check her channel out let her know that t sent you and the link to her channel will be down in my description box <music>
right y'all so here's everything that i'll be packing to take with me to the hospital um i'm going to show you baby girl stuff in a second but um i'm trying to debate if i'm going to put her stuff in my suitcase or just pack out her diaper bag i think i may have to pack out her diaper bags we'll see though but anyway um pillow and blanket towels washcloths face cloth this is a going home outfit well the outfit i'm gonna wear wear when i leave the hospital which is just like some loose kind of like sweatpants and a t-shirt this is my postpartum belt these are nursing pads flip-flops for the shower i'm going to put in this um grocery bag here these are slippers that i'll be wearing while i'm in the room um comb brush hair ties mousse face wash face cream q-tips hand sanitizer lotion deodorant lip gloss mouthwash dental floss and picks toothpaste tongue scraper toothbrushes these are nursing pads and nursing tanks not nursing pads nursing bras and nursing tanks here are my pajamas and my robe that I showed you guys at the beginning of the video. I've already washed all of this up. And then this is my toiletry bag. These are um, the undies that they give you in the hospital. I had two left over from V that I did not use. So I decided to throw these in just in case the hospital has went back to those cheesecloth ones that I hate so bad. I have at least two that I can use. And you know they give you tons of pads. So I'm not taking any pads. And then these are my socks. And I did not show these socks right here. But they are super duper soft. I got those from Burlington as well. And then um, this is my body wash. But I'm going to fill two of these bottles with this body wash. So that I don't have to carry this huge bottle. Here's my postpartum kit. I'm not sure if they give you like the pain spray. I can't remember. Um, but I think I prefer to use this Perry bottle here. And then I may need those hot and cold pads. So I want to have them with me just in case. And then I have my Lysol wipes and Lysol spray. And then I have my neck fan and my iPad. And these chargers I got from Amazon. And these are the super duper long cords for both so i'm going to go ahead and get all of this stuff packed up and placed in my suitcase so like i said in earlier in the video y'all i was hustling this weekend because i have both my girls at 37 and a half weeks um i was induced with the first one and the second one came on her own so I just decided to be prepared for 37 and a half weeks again because I just really don't know. But yeah, I was hustling trying to get all of this stuff done and I'm so happy that I was able to get it done. And I also wanted to mention that a lot of you, you know, you leave me comments saying that um, I need to sit down, um, put your feet up and all of that. I promise y'all I am not overdoing it. When I was pregnant with V, I was a nurse in a hospital on a busy, busy floor working 12 hour shifts, three twelves per week. And I had V um, actually the day that I was supposed to work, I was supposed to work that Monday night and I had her that Monday morning. So I worked all the way up until the end. Okay. So I promise y'all I'm not overdoing it and I am not doing nowhere near what I was doing at work. You know, then when I was working in the hospital, y'all know if you have ever worked in a hospital, y'all know it's crazy and um, you're always on your feet. You're always running around and all of those things. So it's definitely a different pace this time around. And I know my limits. I will not push and do anything that I am not supposed to do that would jeopardize myself or my child. So, yeah, I am doing fine. I am still full of energy <laughs> and I will continue to keep going up until the very end.
minutes, two minutes to explain You better come up with something smart to say Cause I'm already, already on my way I heard them whisper behind my So this packing cube I purchased from Ross, I really was not even looking for packing cubes, but I just happened to just be walking by and it caught my eyes and I was like, hmm, I can probably use this. So y'all know I love to organize, okay? So this came right on time, right up my alley, and my things are going to be so organized in this suitcase and i also wanted to mention that i got the toiletry bag which i was actually looking for when i stumbled upon these um packing cubes i got the toiletry bag from burlington and that was $6.99 So here's everything that I have for baby girl. This is her diaper bag here. Um, it's a couple outfits, comb and brush set, hat and mitten set, three swaddles, a couple blankets, burp cloths, headbands, socks and mittens, um, onesies, a long sleeve and short sleeve, and then sleepers, two of those. And then here is that postpartum kit. I'm going probably going to take the items out and then um put them into her bag. We'll see, but I'll figure it out. And of course, you know, if you have not ever had a baby before, you do not need to take diapers or wipes because they will give you more than enough of that stuff. Um so leave your stash at home and use theirs. <music> You keep talking about your wounded pride Acting like you've been deceived But you keep treating me like I am not here Like I don't have what you need So stop wasting my youth I won't care So I am a over preparer. <laughs> I like to be prepared y'all for any and every scenario that could possibly come up. Accidents happen, things happen, you need extra clothes and all of that. And I will always be prepared for that anytime I pack to go somewhere. So yeah, it is what it is. So the only thing that I need to add is my boppy pillow. Um, and I will do that in a few days when I receive the new covers for those, but I have already washed it. And then I just need to hand wash baby girl's, um, coming home outfit because it's embroidered with her name. So I have to hand wash it. And once that's dry, I will, um, stick that down in her bag. But for the most part, we are packed and ready to go. All right, y'all, so here is a look at all of baby girl's clothes all folded up. Um, I did not want to bore you guys with me folding all of this because it felt like it took four 
forever. Y'all know that these clothes are super tiny. <laughs> and yeah, it took forever. But anyway, let's move on to see how I'm going to organize them in the drawers. You got two minutes, two minutes to explain. You better come up with something smart to say. Cause I'm already, already on my way. Give me one more reason why I should stay. You got two minutes, two minutes to explain. show you guys before i took this apart and got everything washed and clean this was a 12 piece organizer that i purchased from tj max um i think it was 12.99 for all 12 pieces so i'm going to use some of those those pieces to organize this drawer with some items let me down let me down I'm your song and your thing on my melody no one else, cause baby we got chemistry You gave me feelings, feelings that I never knew This heart of mine will always and forever belong to you You and me were meant to be as one The universe has known it all along Maybe this is where 
So moving up top where the crib is, I'm going to put the crib sheets that I have. So in the next drawer on the crib, I have extra blankets. And then extra wraps. So of course you know that I'll be adding and taking away items, especially in the drawer that has like um, the Q-tips and things like that. I'll definitely be adding items there, but for now it will do. So this is how everything turned out. I really like these. Definitely going to be ordering some more to do the other drawers in the house. In this drawer, I have zero to three, three to six. I have like the daytime outfits. And these are zero to three and three to six, mostly zero to three. Here I have socks, mittens, and hats, burp cloths, and then bibs. And the second row of drawers, um, diapers and wipes. This is just the essential drawer of things that you always, always need. And then it's, in this drawer are towels and washcloths. And I still have two drawers left on the bottom of the dresser and then also a drawer over on the crib that I can still put items in. But for now, I have everything stored up, so I have some extra space left over. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I also hope that it gave you the motivation to get some nesting done in your home. If you have not checked out my first nesting video that I posted on last week, be sure to check that video out as well. I want to thank you guys for watching today's video, and I will see you all in the next one.